A warm welcome to the Beacon Scholarship. My name is Ajay Sood, and I am a trustee of the Beacon Equity Trust, which administers the scholarship. I'm going to take a few moments to tell you in broad terms what the Beacon Scholarship is about, and then play a video from some of our Beacon Scholars when they welcome the new cohort of scholars in 2020. If you had to describe the Beacon in a nutshell, it is a scholarship that goes beyond paying part of your fees. It is a leadership development program where we hope to teach young people how to become effective leaders. How do we do it? Our program runs alongside your schooling. We hold workshops and seminars and have a process that helps you learn how to plan and set goals and achieve them. All of this adds up to a system that provides strong mentoring, training, and being part of a family of like-minded young people from whom you can learn and grow. Our scholarship program runs through secondary school and then, if you continue to be successful, on to university. It is competitive and you have to be on your toes throughout. The program and other scholars will challenge you to achieve your best. Our program is now active in 14 schools in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda and Zambia as well as six top universities in the United Kingdom. We have 35 Beacon Scholars and have up to six new school scholarships and six new university scholarships available each year. It would be fair to say that the program is very competitive to join, but once you're a Beacon Scholar, you are special to us and one of our own. If you are interested, you need to go to our website at www beaconscholarship.com and read about the program. You will need to register on the apply page and go from there. You will now hear from some of our school scholars and then some of our university beacons already on the program. Thank you. My name is Miganda and I have been a Beacon Scholar since 2015. I've just finished at St. Andrew's School Turi and have been awarded a place at Cambridge University. I would just like to take this moment to thank all my mentors, the trustees, and the people that have become my family in this journey. I would like to say Beacon has been a mold for me in high school that has allowed me to shape myself into the best version that I possibly can be. It's challenged me both intellectually and socially. To you, this is going to be an amazing journey. And yes, slightly intimidating, but if you're here, the team has seen something incredible in you and your duty over the next few years is to prove to yourself and to them how unique you are. So if you have ideas, execute them. If you have questions, ask them. And if you stumble, dust yourself off, get up and keep shining. Now I would just like to hand over to two other vegan scholars that would like to have say a word. Hello everyone, my name is Lawrence Mutua. I am 15 years old and I go to St. Andrew's School too. I joined the Beacon in 2014. For me, the Beacon has been a place where you learn and you improve. I have learned how to take people with me in everything that I do and I have also learned the traits of a good leader. It has helped me improve in my people skills and my team skills. For the new Beacon Scholars, I want to welcome you into this great family and I hope that you feel at home. Thank you. Hello, my name is Betty Kunyada. I am 14 years old and I am joining Year 10 in St. Andrew's Senior School. I have been at Beacon for 8 years and Beacon has been a great contribution to the development of my character and has also shown me and taught me that you are never too young to make a difference in your society. To me, a beacon scholar is a leader, not in the future, but now. And so I'm encouraging you all to be leaders right now and not wait for the future to do something great. Welcome to Beacon. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Cordelia Lendro. 
Deacon Scholar here at Cardiff University in Uganda studying law. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to say a um, massive congratulations to all our new scholars. It's no mean feat uh, becoming a Beacon Scholar, so massive congratulations to you and welcome to the Beacon family. Hello, my name is Zawadi and I'm going into my second year of a Master's in Civil Engineering at the University of Bristol. First, a massive congratulations for making it into the Beacon Scholarship. I'm very excited to have you as a University Scholar and in the UK come later this year and I can't wait to meet all of you. My name is Anne Earl. I am in my third and placement here at the University of Surrey and I study economics and mathematics. Hi guys, my name is Wise and I would like to start off by giving you massive congratulations for winning the scholarship. Um, you're entering an amazing community and family and you ought to be proud of yourselves. I was, uh, of course, really excited to be a new scholar. I mean, being in the Beacon family in itself is really exciting knowing that you're going to be um, around such intelligent people that will really help you improve the person. Through Beacon, I have been surrounded by a network of brilliant minds who now have sort of become a family to me. Through them, my journey here in university has been one of motivation, one of inspiration, and most of all, one filled with growth. My first year of Beacon experience has been uh, amazing. On a personal level, I feel I've been able to develop my leadership skills through the various um, workshops we had. For example, in November 2019, we had a workshop about creating a team and that is an asset of a, to, to all leaders around the world, knowing how to create a team, knowing how to work in a team. And we've had so many other workshops that have developed me as an individual, learning different skills throughout all the workshops. The coronavirus, as we all know, has disrupted life as we know it. But the government in the UK is working with the universities to ensure the safety of each and everyone. Different universities, however, have different approaches to it. My university, Cardiff University, for example, is planning to phase out big uh, group lectures and any other form of study that involves large gatherings and all those will be shifted online. Every other university has a different approach, so I would advise you to constantly uh, look out your university email. They always keep updating those to get more information and you'll be kept up to speed with what the university is planning and how they're going to handle it. weather is very temperamental and that's the reason the British talk about it so much so I'd highly recommend getting yourself a raincoat and or an umbrella especially if you're coming to the south. Second, embrace the uncertainty. A lot of people are going to be in your position not really knowing what's going on and it all seems like a blur especially the currency that was quite hard to get my head around but it's going to be okay just be as smart as you clearly are to have gotten into this position and it will all work out. Third, and a principle that I now completely live by, is early is on time and on time is late. Kenya time doesn't apply in this country, unfortunately. So for lectures, trains, buses, anything you need to be on time for, I'd recommend planning to arrive five minutes early so that you get there on time. I can't wait to see you all towards the end of this year and it's going to be amazing. Uh, finally, I would like to thank the parents for, of course, believing us as the Beacon Scholars and your continued support to not only the Beacon Scholars but also to the Beacon as an organization. I'd like to thank the scholars as well uh, for their hard work, their continued hard work. Uh, I'd like to thank our mentors for their mentoring, for their time, and for each and everything they do for us as well. And I'd like to thank all the well wishes of the Beacon for your support as well. Thank you all so much. I hope to see you soon.